So I traveled to Costa Rica from Miami and the flight was a little over two hours. I was honestly surprised that Costa Rica was looking so dry. I was like, where's the trees? Where's the rainforest? Like, hello. <laughs> but it is because it was not rainy season at the time. And so it was just looking like the Sahara Desert up in there. And as far as the temperature goes, it was 90s every single day. But I have to say, it was not super humid over there. So it was a comfortable temperature. It wasn't like you feel like you're about to pass out and stuff. More in-depth information about my trip, where I stayed, COVID restrictions, and other resources will be in the description box. So if you plan on traveling there anytime soon, be sure to check that out. decided to book one of those tour things where we do horseback riding, tubing, and different activities. So we had to wake up mad early this morning, like 6 a.m. So the crew did pick us up from our hotel at like 6 a.m. in the morning. And here you see us in the little van. We were driving for over an hour. And I kept thinking like, wow, we're literally in the middle of nowhere. No phone service surrounded by volcanoes like what could possibly go wrong <laughs> but no the view was beautiful and they let you stop and get breakfast if you wanted so here you see me getting suited up for zip lining and i just have to say that their team was so amazing from beginning to end throughout the entire day and i did pay that additional fee to get professional pictures taken of me throughout the trip We just did horseback riding. My horse, I mean, I don't know where he is, but my horse was named Chaco. that experience that we had today 
was so much fun like if you come to costa rica you have to do this tour it's amazing this is the view and i think that we are close to some volcanoes they are actually 126 volcanoes in costa rica which is crazy anyway we are going to be going to the hot springs now and i'll probably film some more when i get there we have made it to the hot springs but this is so nice wow So he said the water is so hot, muy caliente, and they're heating up the mud that you put on your skin so that your skin can feel like really smooth and stuff. No, they want you to exfoliate first. Oh. Open up the pores, and then you put that, yeah? All right. It was good. Refreshing. Amazing. Amazing? Refreshing, refreshing. Okay. Juvenated. <laughs> <laughs> Hydrating, okay. Hydrating. While we were on our way back to Tamarindo, we were driving through the area of Liberia and I just noticed that a lot of the houses were really small. You could tell they only had the essentials like a bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen. And it just reminded me that in America we are so materialistic. Like we feel like we need to have the biggest house and four cars. Meanwhile, there are people in different areas of the world who only have the essentials and they're comfortable, they're happy, and they're surviving. So I just wanted to say, be grateful for the things that you have because you're actually really blessed. And don't forget that. What's up? 5,000 hours later, I'm finally ready. By the way, I ran out of my Fenty lip gloss and I have to say, this Sephora lip gloss saved the day. It's a good dupe. It's called Fresh Peach. I don't know. I just felt like I need to tell you guys that. Okay, this is the finished look with my little shades. I'm thinking about bringing my hat. I wish it was bigger though. Honestly, it can't even fit my head. All right, in a few, I'm gonna just get some pics and then head to the beach. Okay. No hablo espanol, pero me. <laughs> I am gonna try to speak Spanish a little bit to try to call myself a taxi and get to the beach. So let's see how I do. It's so beautiful outside today, oh my goodness.
person in the pool right now, just chilling. Okay. that I first went to Costa Rica from. And I'm so happy that we got negative COVID tests and escaped captivity. 